in so much pain. A soldier to show you the route Pull you in close, areola to mount My love, no corona, Ebola could doubt Whenever you're alone and you're unoccupied And you're feeling hot inside Hit me up on my line One time Why? <laughs> oh wow What a way to start the vlog Hey guys, it's girl SK. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you always for being here. I tried to start the vlog a bit earlier. When I got out of bed, of course, I had such a... <sighs> mm. Hey guys. Killa, what's the time? It's like... It's two in the afternoon. Alexa! What time is it? She's obsessed with Alexa. Her dad bought her Alexa, guys. And ever since she got it, she's been obsessed with it. I was supposed to get up and start a vlog and be very productive for you guys because, you know, I've been really absent. Shaquilla just been harassing me the whole time, guys. I've just been so tired. Shaquilla doesn't understand that when there's a whole human growing inside another human, it's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of strain. It's very tiring. Yeah, she don't understand. Look at her. I will see you guys shortly, yeah? I'm just gonna hop in the shower. We're gonna just head on the road right quick. Next time y'all in, y'all see this sour face, so. In a minute. Guys, I've been sleeping the whole day. <laughs> There I am, and Shakila wouldn't stop, guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna update you guys because I've been gone for two weeks. I know I really needed that break, y'all. We're fine. To everyone who's messaged me, a lot of y'all messaged me on Instagram, checking in, you know, making sure that everything was okay. Because the last video that you guys got was when say hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> was when Shakela had COVID. She's fine now, everything is good. She didn't develop any new symptoms ever since the last update. You know, she tested positive on the Monday and by Friday she was testing negative, no symptoms, nothing. It's as if it never happened. So she's COVID free, I'm COVID free, we're both COVID free, we good. Baby Henry is good, growing and glowing and, and all the good stuff. But I'm gonna update you guys when I get back in the house about, yeah, how I've been doing because it's been a little rough, y'all. It's been a little rough. I've been so tired like this pregnancy is just is draining me and we're 24 weeks can you believe it we're 24 weeks pregnant and which means that baby will be here in 16 weeks can you believe that I feel like time is just really going and because the time seems to be moving even that kind of played a part in my absence as well because it's yeah I will talk to you guys when I get upstairs um, but for now we're going to the meat shop and I hope the meat shop is open. I was meant to go from this morning, y'all. But trust me, because I just, I couldn't move. And I tried and I tried. I did try. <laughs> Shaquilla's looking at me like, when did you try? <laughs> I did try. Shaquilla just kept waking me up. Mommy, we have to go. We have to go. And I'm like, I'm, I'm coming. And the next thing you know, Shaquilla's in my face with the camera. Getting all these clips of me snoring. I just couldn't. Couldn't. So yeah, we're gonna go to the meat shop now and I feel like eating some chips with salt and vinegar, y'all. But I don't know if the chip shop is open. Um, today's Saturday. Is today Saturday? Sunday? Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday, I didn't leave the house yesterday because the weather's been really crappy. For those of you guys that are in the UK, you know, in this region, I hope the storm didn't affect you guys negatively, I guess. Because she killed how many people? I think over 40, 40. people died. We had a storm, y'all. It was very, very windy. Trees fell. People's gates and everything broke off and, you know, things like that. And people died. It was a storm, Eunice. But where I live it doesn't really affect us that much but it was super windy and scary like I was literally in my car and the car was like that so yeah it was scary so hopefully you guys are okay your families are okay and yeah I guess you know when you're from the Caribbean these things you're not really moved 
by these things not really you know because we get hurricanes we get like category five hurricanes and all sorts and you know we move on we're good when i was born there was this massive hurricane that hit jamaica and i was like three months old i think the hurricane gilbert yeah 1988 was the year <laughs> No, how old was I? I was in three months. I think I was five months old actually because I think it was in September 1988. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, it was September because around my fr when my friend was born. We call her Stormy because she was born in Gilbert. <laughs> Oh, and that's not her name. No, her real name is not Storm. It's a nickname just because of when she was born in the storm. Interesting story of how her mother got to the hospital. Pick up yourself, Storm, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, I think I was five months old, which is really interesting because when Shaquilla was born in 2000, 2010, a storm hit Anguilla as well. I was in Anguilla at the time. I can't remember the name of that hurricane. Was it Irma? Ivan? It could have been Hurricane Ivan. I can't remember. If anybody from Angola watching though, can you just comment down below and tell me what hurricane it was in the year 2010, September? Yes, yeah, Shaquilla was three months old when that hit. Yeah, that one was pretty bad as well. So yeah, both of us been in hurricanes as babies. <laughs> so yeah, the storm in England, it didn't really move me as much because, you know, they said oh, winds of 70 miles per hour, but I think it was way more. It was a hundred and some miles or whatever per hour. And, um, the O2 building was affected the roof got torn off and yeah so I'll catch you guys there when I reach the meat shop anyways all right cool guys I'm here at the meat shop but if you can see it is raining look yeah, yeah I'm gonna go inside get my meat Shaquilla say oh I'm staying in the car I'll see <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna go and get I just want to cook some chicken legs today just bake some chicken legs like leg and thigh <laughs> My oxtail for me, y'all. Uh, my oxtail. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, it's actually the next day. Yesterday, when I got home from the store, I actually went to cook dinner, Sunday dinner. And what I had planned yesterday, I didn't cook. I wanted to cook. Um, is the lens dirty though? Hold on. I actually wanted to cook some big chicken legs and stuff but i didn't like the way the chicken legs looked you know from the butchers so i didn't do that again but anyways i ended up cooking curry chicken <laughs> so i cooked curry chicken and dumplings because you know i can't have rice i was trying to tell you guys i can't have rice because it makes me feel sick y'all um this video what i wanted to discuss with you guys just to give you guys a little update you know we're now in the second trimester 24 weeks so we've got 16 weeks to go until baby henry gets here <laughs> and i am super super excited and i'm also super nervous at the same time just you know going through the motions of it all yeah because this is i as if you're new guys my i have a daughter she's 11 years old she's going to be 12 in june and baby henry is going to be born in june as well so i have two june babies y'all <laughs> it's a long time since you know i've i've done this it's it's been a while <laughs> Um, so I'm a bit nervous about that and it's quite interesting because this journey has just been very different. This morning I went to get my vaccine, of another vaccine yet again, whooping cough. Whooping cough, I had no idea what that was, never heard of it before. And I actually googled it for y'all just because I'm like, how do I explain it? So it says whooping cough or pertussis is an infection of the respiratory system caused by bacterium bordetella pertussis or B pertussis. It mainly affects babies younger than six months old who aren't yet protected by immunizations and kids 11 to 18 years old whose immunity has started to fade. So basically I was advised, you know, by my midwife to get that vaccine done. So it's going to protect baby. Never heard of this before back in 
Angola. I don't know if whooping cough is a thing back in the Caribbean, but I've never heard of it. And I don't think that we were actually vaccinated as children with this um, whooping cough because I think the mother, so we get it. So it protects my baby in the womb. And I think that actually, that's actually a vaccine that he gets after he's born. Um, so I don't know if it's something new or that's something that's always been ongoing, but yeah. I still have the thing on because like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to take it off in a bit. But not too long got back, y'all, from getting that. Um, I'll insert a clip. I don't think Shakela kept the camera rolling when that she actually injected me. But I was taking off my sweater and stuff to get it done in this arm. I feel fine. And hopefully, you know, <laughs> I think this is what I was. I think I was wearing this same shirt when I got my first dose of the vaccine. I was updating you guys how I felt weak and stuff the COVID vaccine. So hopefully this is not a repeat. So anywho, I got that this morning. So basically I got my strawberries. I have fruits. I've got some strawberries and some plums here. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> These strawberries are pretty good. So while I've been absent from YouTube, because I have been absent for a few weeks, I've just been going through quite a lot. I've been in so much pain. It's just so unreal. It's just so basically it's like I can feel I can feel my womb stretching and that is something I never experienced when I was 21 I was pregnant with Shakela when I was 21 and now at 33 it's a different experience so I've had weeks and weeks of sleepless nights like I literally could not sleep I would wake up about midnight or so and then my eye is still wide awake for four in the morning five in the morning and then obviously I get up around 6 6 30 to start to get ready for work and it's been tough and I've just been at work like falling asleep just super tired every day they ask me how you doing I'm like I'm so tired <laughs> one of my colleagues even joked to me it's like don't get pregnant again <laughs> But um, it's been really terrible. Like I, there was like a couple of nights where I was literally just crawled up in the bed. I was like, you know, and I couldn't find a comfortable position. So I would turn on my left side, and I would turn on my right side, and then I'd turn go on my back. And they say you shouldn't be on your back. Apparently, you shouldn't sleep on your back because it puts a lot of the a lot of pressure on your back and it can cause you back pain because there's a lot of weight that's happening here so that's why they advise not to sleep on your back so if you are pregnant and you're experiencing a lot of back pains and you realize that yes you have been sleeping on your back try not to sleep on your back you know so i do turn on my back sometimes but that's not a fixed position that i stay in for the rest of the night it's either on my left side or my right side and everyone's been saying you need to get a pregnancy pillow because it's like a dream and I have not I have looked for some and it's like I don't know I did find the perfect one and then I read the reviews and it wasn't so perfect anymore but yeah that's what's been happening to me the past few weeks and these days I've gotten just feeling really really tired when I say tired I mean I would just be so sleepy for the last week I've kind of just started to get this balance of sleeping for like for longer periods as opposed to being up from midnight to 5 a.m um i have been doing a bit better you know with the sleeping the pain has kind of like died down a bit but no doubt throughout is gonna continue because as you grow i think it's called round ligament pain or something round ligament pain or something like that so yeah actually it's like can you just imagine though what our bodies are going through when we're pregnant like we're literally like expanding but then this is the first time I've actually felt the expansion. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, it's just like the tiredness. So I realized that between 8 and 9 p.m. I am just like down for the count. I start to doze off, y'all. Like seriously getting uh, just super, super tired. Like yesterday, it was so hard for me to wake up to go to the um to go to the store yesterday and when i woke up out of the bed and it was like it's just so hard because i just feel more tired these days even walking up the stairs i feel myself just getting just extra tired so yeah it's kind of taking its toll on me yesterday um over the weekend i did try to do some deep cleaning and i haven't i it just made me realize that i haven't actually deep cleaned for yeah months since i've been this way because obviously my first trimester i was really really sick things started to get a bit better and but now because i got bigger 
it's and I'm getting tired I realize like I'm sweeping and I'm mopping and I'm scrubbing and I'm like oh <laughs> this would literally be me like oh having to take a like a, a deep breath you know it's like what is going on I wasn't like this with Shakela. like with Shakela, I was scrubbing the floors and everything and it's I was fine yeah 21 and 33 are very different <laughs> I would say honestly and it could be because I don't really exercise like that but I never exercised back then either but yeah I was younger so yeah that that was that was quite hard for me there's days like that like I wish I had Sean like oh my god Sean it's not here if you're new Sean is my husband I keep I say this in every video because with every video I get um, new subscribers and wonder like who is Sean so um, Sean and I were in a long-distance marriage we got married in September 2021 and we actually found out that we were expecting before he left in October so it would help if he was here and that's another reason too like when I can't sleep at night and when I experience these things I just wish that he was here to give me a nice nice massage and I told him before like you are gonna owe me a nice long massage when you get here like head to toe like wrap her up down like <laughs> because honestly I, I do need that sometimes I feel like that's all I need like a nice little rub and you know it would it would help I don't know for all you single moms or you know single yes yeah, single mom to be is you know because we know that everyone has like they have their little situations going on where the baby's father is not you know if your baby's dad is not in your life so I know women do go through that so I really big up to you guys that have experienced this and went through this more than once or you know are currently going through it just doing everything on your own and especially if you have other kids like I commend you like you are strong you know yeah at least for me like my daughter is 11 so she can help out and do things you know she's very much independent she can make her own breakfast she can cook us dinner so if i'm unable to cook she's actually very capable of cooking meals so at least i have her in that sense to help me but yeah not having a partner i would say during pregnancy is very very difficult and i am just hoping you know because he's in america and i'm here and things are in the works guys and you know we are trying very hard to close this distance and but you know in the end the decision is not up to us so just keep us in your prayers and you know just in hopefully things will work out in our favor but either way you guys are still gonna you guys are gonna be a part of that journey and we'll keep you guys in the loop but yeah for now just know that things are in the works you know with us closing this distance yeah uh, another thing I would say too, like stretch marks I've been worried about stretch marks and like before I talk about the stretch marks Shakela was looking through my phone earlier this morning she found a video of me that I recorded when I was pregnant with her because it did my face really bad baby boy here didn't do that to me this time with Shaquilla I had bumps and spots just everywhere I'll insert the clip there and I'll insert the picture I was holding her she was like three months old that was right after um, the hurricane remember I mentioned that we was in a hurricane when she was three months old that was us outside after the hurricane had passed getting some fresh air because we didn't have electricity yet you know all the power lines were down so yeah I took a picture and that was that was the face <laughs> yeah I was worried about that but it didn't happen this time and I didn't have a lot of stretch marks I'm gonna show you guys my tummy else I didn't have so if you can see don't know if you guys can see but like here there's like a few stretch marks and these were actually from Shakela. that's all I got from that pregnancy this time around uh, there's nothing yeah there's nothing and these I had got these on my side as well from her um, and then that was about it yeah <laughs> y'all don't look at my navel like Shakela been like dogging me like making fun of my navel because she's like why is that a big hole and I was like that's just how my navel is girl yeah this is the little bump update I wish he could move to show you guys but yeah <laughs> yeah so yes that's the bump 
so yeah no new stretch marks yet my boobs i can still wear my normal bras but my boobs they have they are they are expanding but i'm still able to wear my normal bras my usual bras i the only thing that's happening is they get if they're very itchy and dry you guys did tell me what i needed to get what's it called i think lanolin or something like that and that actually that actually helps it helps me a lot so i put that on my nipples and it's very soothing and it's not itchy and dry and cracky so and that's just so weird like i never experienced this with shakela y'all i'm telling you Mm. this is just all new to me i experience a lot of acid reflux as well so at night it's like oh but i don't know if you can see on my table my nightstand gaviscon is my best friend <laughs> y'all gaviscon don't leave my side gaviscon is always at my side on my night table because i'm i'd be like down in that i tell you it helps a lot i get a lot of acid reflux and that was happening a lot when i ate the rice i don't know if it's the starch but no it's like the thought of just me eating rice it just makes me yeah let's not talk about rice now <laughs> let's not talk about rice i don't know oddly enough the dumplings and the potatoes it doesn't do anything to me yeah and i have had definitely a change in food cravings i get different this is like up and down y'all it's just completely it's crazy it's all over the place you know it's no longer like just salty stuff it's like a mix of everything sweetness like it's just everything but i think it's a bit balanced now i don't have outrageous cravings i don't <laughs> i'm good in that sense it's not too bad i'm trying to think of the weird things that I actually crave like sometimes i really want like a lot of fruits and then other times i can't have fruits it's just it's weird it's all over the place yeah i <sighs> i don't know yeah what else updated is i have to pee every hour i kid you not i live in the toilet like i wish that i had a walk-in bathroom so i can just step from my bed and just go right into the toilet <laughs> or have like back in the old time days we used to have little chimneys we uh potty we used to call them chimneys in jamaica you know because not everyone had like a inside bathroom so you had to have like a little pail or an angle i think they call it you can have a pail a potty a chimney whatever you call it and you'd have that inside the house and <laughs> so i was like one should be in my room y'all so i could just pee just roll off the bed and just scoot and just pee <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh could you just imagine it's just crazy um it's hectic you you guys would never understand like sometimes i've obviously i live in england and sometimes the nights are cold i don't sleep with the heat and on you know i have a nice thick duvet to cover me up at night and that keeps me well nice and warm so it's like when you get comfy you know sometimes you might turn over you open your eyes and but then you you know you're getting comfy again to go back to sleep not for me once i wake up it's like oh gotta pee and his sleep patterns at the moment i'm trying to like learn his sleep pattern and what he does is he wakes up every two hours y'all i kid you not and i don't know what kind of messed up sleep pattern that is and what he's trying to do to me but it ain't right 9 p.m he's awake so when i'm trying as soon as i'm like ready to doze off it's like he's awake 11 after 11 he's awake after 1 a.m he's awake and then I would wake up usually around three four o'clock in the morning to pee again and again he's awake and i'm guessing that's why i keep waking up because every time i'm awake he's kicking and last night i sent a footage of him moving to sean like last night was the first time that was that i felt him proper like rolling i was like whoa my belly was like doing this i was like oh it actually freaked me out y'all like to feel that big movement and shakila is grossed out by it if y'all want to know i'm like shakila come and touch and she's like ah ee. <laughs> so she does come and she touches it but she's freaked out by it all they understand why because it is a bit freaky to feel that little it's not just a kick y'all it's like a proper roll like like he's changing positions in there and it's like yeah and i managed to just capture one little bit of like a thump i don't know what it was a kick something but my belly just went like this boop yeah it went like boop <laughs> so i'll see if i can insert it and see if you guys can see it. it was like a split second so i'll insert it but yeah that's what's going on he is very very active very very active and <laughs> i don't know like i hope he like simmer down a bit when he's born because 
Shaquilla wasn't active and well then it's a boy i don't know i'm a bit nervous about that as well y'all yeah but um today oh Shaquille and i were actually about to film baby names video picking out the baby names that you guys gave us so you guys need to stay tuned for that because i we got a lot of names thank you guys for that and Shaquille and i are going to go and film this so i'm going to wrap up this video and went ahead in the living room with Shaquille because she's out there and we're gonna go through the baby names we're gonna like i think she's writing them out and we're gonna like put them in a hat and just pick them out and whatever names we like i mean yeah we'll see whatever we'll see i tried not to go through the names i know i got loads but i was like i'll save it and do a video about it so you guys can see my natural reactions and stuff like proper going through the names and that so that should be a fun video and i'm looking forward to see all of the names that you guys you know gave me for baby boy for baby henry <laughs> so stay tuned for that video and also i have been putting the registry together on amazon and i will post that link as well because some of you guys have been messaging me about the registry so if you are interested in gifting baby henry something contributing to you know the things that he needs and all of that um yeah stay tuned yeah so thank you guys so much for being here thank you so much for watching and being patient with me you know with my little absences and that you know i'll try to be more consistent with you guys but you know how it goes if y'all don't see me upload my normal friday and sunday video you know how it is i'm just like tired y'all I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> yes, yeah, so thanks for watching again and see y'all in another video. All right, bye. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Are you moving as soon as I end the video? I'm trying to move for the people. <laughs> you must be saying mommy's like chatting a lot, eh? Like, calm down, mother. Be quiet. <laughs>